wondering if you should get a Sales Navigator team account instead of the classic professional version, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the Sales Navigator team and Sales Navigator professional, so you can clearly see what is the best option for your business. Let's dive in. Basically, Sales Navigator team comes with all the features of Professional Plus. 10 additional email messages per month, so 30 in total, account list creation through CSV upload, team links, smart links, and CRM integrations. And we'll go through everything in this video. But first, let's talk about the money. So Sales Navigator team is a little bit more expensive than Sales Navigator professional due to uh, the additional features. And basically you are, you're paying like 50 bucks more every month, a little bit less if you decide to pay annually. And <clears throat> the top features that uh, LinkedIn put forward for Sales Navigator team is sharing content and track engagement with your prospect and warm introduction from your teammate. But actually, this is not the best feature that Sales Navigator team offers. I think the best one is actually the account list upload, and I'm going to show you why. So when you have a Sales Navigator team account and you click on account list here, you have a new button, create account list. If you click on it, you're gonna see the option, upload account from CSV. And then if I click here, you can see that if you are able to provide some information to LinkedIn, they will try to find if the companies in your CSV have a company page on LinkedIn. So if you can provide the account name, LinkedIn company ID or LinkedIn company URL, website, country, city or streets, LinkedIn will take this information and use them to try to find if these companies exist on LinkedIn and have a LinkedIn page. So let's make a, a quick test. I prepared a demo file here with few information like account name, uh, the sort of website, the address, the region and the city, and we're gonna upload it on LinkedIn and see if LinkedIn is able to find these companies. So before the upload, you get to map the column to tell LinkedIn that this information is in this column, etc. So here, for example, the account name is here. I don't have. So when you don't have the information, you, you choose the option not in CSV. So here I don't have this information. I have the website, I don't have the country, I have the city and I have the address. And here you can name a list and press finish to begin the upload. And here you just got to wait a few minutes for LinkedIn to um, try to find these companies. A few moments later. Back to our sales navigator. You can see that the upload is finished. When you get a CFD upload, you get a little mark here. We have written CSV. And we can see that out of 163 uh, companies, LinkedIn found uh, 160 companies, which is like really, really good. And if I click on the CSV here, I can see all the companies which have been created like uh, like if I had uh, created an account list classically by having made like in um, an account search and selecting all the companies one by one and then creating a list with this company. The really cool thing you can do now is try to find the decision makers uh, of these companies to contact them. So for that, you can go to uh, the lead search, go in the, in the filter custom list and choose the, the account list you just made with the CSV upload. And here you're going to see all the employees that are working in these companies. Um, but we don't want to contact everyone, right? So let's say we want to contact all the CEOs. Here, by adding my account list into the custom list filter and title as CEO, you can see that I got all the CEO of all the companies. Strange thing is that there is uh, more CEOs than there is companies in the list. So probably got to dig a little bit here to see why and to really select the decision maker but you can see that you can identify the best person to contact really quickly with this technique so the key learning here is that if you use external sources to identify accounts like crunchbase madiness glassdoor yellow pages and then you want to find the decision makers inside these accounts on linkedin this feature is perfect for you it can save you a lot of time by 
quickly identifying the decision makers inside the accounts you have in your CSV file. Second feature that differentiates a sales navigator team from sales navigator uh, professional is SmartLink. So if you have a sales navigator team account, you will have access to a new tab here, SmartLinks, and you will be able to create SmartLinks that are basically PowerPoint presentation that you can easily create and share with your prospect on LinkedIn. So it looks like this. So you can see that you can add websites, for example, and you can also like PDF slides, sell documents that your prospect can check like this. The really cool thing with smart links is that you, you are able to, to track who open your smart links and how uh, your prospect interact uh, with the document inside it. So here, for example, I can see that Leon opened the smart link, so I can send him a message or view the profile and I can go in detail on how he interacted with the document inside. So I can see that he visited the website or he checked the, the, um, the PDF and I can go even deeper and see how much time he spent on each page. So if you are a company that needs to send use cases, sales documents to your prospect, uh, smart links can be a great way to identify opportunities by uh, tracking who open your smart links and how they interact with it. I've made another video on that, on how to use smart links to generate leads, and I will put the link just right there. Another feature you get with Sales Navigator team is Team Link. So smart links are a way for salespeople to help each other by identifying common connection with potential prospects. So here, for example, I'm looking for gross hackers and gross marketers in France. And let's say we are like 10 sales in the team, which is the maximum number of users uh, for a Sales Navigator team account. And I made a search, I identified some good leads. I can go on the spotlights here and, sh and select the filter leads with team link intro. And this filter will show me all the prospects that are already connected with at least one member um, of my sales team. So here, for example, Otman is connected to Manuel, Mehdi is connected to uh, Michael, and Tom is connected to Manuel as well. So what I can do here is go reach out to my teammate and say, hey man, can you help me reach out to Tom by giving me a warm introduction to him so I can present the offer. That way you can identify like opportunities and instead of sending a cold email like a stranger, you can uh, simply ask for your fellow sales to uh, make you an introduction. If your sales team is less than 10 people and you need them to interact and to help each other like this because I don't know you have like split the sales team into like a region or industries etc but it happens that um, one sales in the team is friend with uh, a prospect in the other industry or the other region that is not like um, for him but for uh, one of his teammates team links can help the cooperation into your sales team. The last advantage that Sales Navigator team offer compared to Sales Navigator Professional is the CRM synchronization. So basically with Sales Navigator team, you will be able to like add a Sales Navigator profile uh, into your CRM in just one click. Like if you are visiting profiles and you find one uh, profile to be, to be qualified, you can just, you add a button like add to my CRM. But if you take notes on your Sales Navigator um, notepad, it will be transferred directly to your CRM, CRM note. But uh, honestly, these features are quite limited and the enterprise CRM integration is much more powerful. Like if someone change job, um, the information will be updated automatically in your CRM, etc. You don't have that with the Sales Navigator team account actually. You just have the synchronization of the notes and the fact to uh, simply add a prospect to your CRM in just one click. If you want to dig a little bit more into the Sales Navigator team features like account CSV upload, a smart link, team link, I've made uh, videos on those topics and you can see them just right there. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel to never miss our actionable lead generation tutorials. See ya!